um, going back to the, the marketing pyramid scheme, basically of affiliate marketing, basically that where you invest into an artist and then you have to market their stuff. So you get money. Absolutely. Like, dude, that would literally, if this was a thing right now, bro, like I would, you just make company make portfolio. Of you just make companies literally. My company's off of that. I would invest in a hundred artists. One of them would fucking take off. The ones that don't, I sell their bullshit because I don't need it. And then I buy a thousand artists' songs. I just scroll through SoundCloud all day. And then I hire fucking people younger than me that are more in with the tunes. And we just literally find the most artists that I think will pop off. Like fucking Blast, bro. I fucking listened to him before when he had like. 400 followers on SoundCloud. I could have bought some of those songs. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, not good, not good. Jesus Louises. Um, Loki is what, uh, if you study music industry, Loki already kind of does that, right? You, you buy out radio spots and commercial spots and you plug that, get people's ears. And there's a lot less free will with liking songs. <laughs> We were also talking, yeah. We were all we were also talking about um, what if TikTok did that with sounds? Like you post, like you post the sound, and it's automatically an NFT that you own. And I'm like, yo, this song could blow, the so, sound could go go viral. Snapchat is making it. developers should make Snapchat filters that are NFTs now. In August, I believe. Um, so developers can make a filter. And then the developers own that NFT through a third party. Interesting. But saying that. But. Um, yeah, that makes. So the predominant social medias where all the attention is and all the culture is of sounds and trends and whatnot <laughs> makes for what radio used to make, which is a zeitgeist of music in the air, right? So if you integrate a, a web three aspect into a popular predominant social media. You can do a lot with that. It's, it's basically, it's, it's the YouTube NFT idea, but take the NFT idea away with it. And it's still basically just a YouTube business model. Of you go to the predominant media platform, put up content that people want to consume and then you get paid for it with NFTs. <laughs> If no one's heard before, the middleman gets cut out with that besides the predominant social media, unless you have a decentralized social media platform, which could happen, could not. Um, you get paid. 